Hi, this is Sarah. I'm just going to do a quick screencast to show you how to add your blog feed to Hootsuite so every time you update a post it gets tweeted out automatically. I'm going to go over to Linda's profile here. Hello Linda, hope you're watching this and I will show you how to get it up. So, Linda's dashboard comes up in Hootsuite and I need to go over here so that I can pull up the settings. When I've got the settings icon up, another menu will appear. I need to go to RSS forward slash Atom. Click on that and it will show me my existing feeds. Now if you've already got a Hootsuite account you shouldn't have any existing feeds. So I will go down and see what I would like to add to Linda's blog. Um, at the moment, the only thing that goes to Linda's blog are her normal blogs. I'm going to actually add the birds on the blog to Linda's feed. So I'm going to add new feed down here. I click on that. And now I need to put in the feed URL. Um, the standard WordPress feeds are very easy to find. I need to type in the domain name. which in this case is birdsontheblog.co.uk and then I press forward slash and the word feed and then it asks me which profile to send it to so I click Linda's on your own dashboard you will only have one account which is your own and I would like it to check for posts every six hours now if you've just got your own blog and you're sending that in you can check the drop down menu to check every hour um, because I don't want to overwhelm Linda's feed with posts from birds on the blog then every six hours is acceptable and you can choose here how many posts that you would like to go out at any one particular time so if you post multiple times during the day you can have them all go out or you can have them one post at a time if you are multiple posting during the day, click one post at a time, but change your drop down menu to every hour so that then each post goes out within an hour of you setting it out. You can add a short message. You can say something like new posts from the blog. Um, I don't like that. I don't do that. To me, that's just a waste of my 140 characters, so I don't do it. Um, I do tick the box here that you can untick that says include text from post in messages so if you've got a short title a short headline on your blog rather than have a big gap text will be pulled in from the first paragraph so if you say something like hello and that's your title the next couple of words will be the first paragraph of your blog post I find that's quite good down here right at the bottom you see another drop down menu and you can use all sorts of shorteners to automatically shorten your link then when you've done that click save feed like so and about a week later it should have saved it now if I look down all my feeds and as you can see I've got heaps I can see that um, Linda has disappeared. Oh, there we have it, right here, right at the bottom. Birds on the blog is feeding Linda's Twitter stream now. Now, if you want to edit it, you just go over to the edit button and click edit. And if you want to remove it, like I do, because I don't really think she wants the birds on the blog posts in her Twitter stream, you can just click delete the pop-up asks you if you want to remove it which of course I do and we're all done when we are done we just close this box and that's it it's all added and there we have it that's how you add your feed from your blog to update Hootsuite and Twitter automatically